over the weekend, our area is forecasted to get cold, especially at night, and that trend will last for several days. Thanks for joining us tonight. We have details about what to expect over the next few days and resources to help people who are without shelter. That story is first on Fox tonight. Chief Meteorologist John Harris says by Sunday, the area will see modified Arctic air with the potential of flurries or freezing drizzle. We start out in the upper 20s and low 30s below freezing, and we may not reach above freezing throughout the day on Sunday. So now we're talking about basically the entire day at or below freezing. And he says it's expected to stay cold for days. Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, and Thursday morning, we're at or below freezing. So that's almost going to become the norm throughout next week for the low temperatures. Luckily for people in our community without a place to stay, there are day and night shelters available, as well as the Code Blue warming station where people can take their pets. If you are somebody that's outside at night, you're going to be dealing with freezing weather and for fairly long periods of freezing weather. And then again, if you get back to Sunday, not only are you talking about temperatures below freezing, but wind chills could be running in the upper teens and low 20s on Sunday morning, and that makes it dangerously cold. Amarillo City Transit will provide free rides to shelters when cold weather reaches 38 degrees or below because they don't want people out in the elements. Shelter locations are the Guy on Saunders Resource Center, the Salvation Army, Bates City Mission, and the Code Blue Warming Station. ACT says free rides to those shelters are available Monday through Saturday from 620 in the morning to 7 at night. Riders just need to let the bus operator know they need a ride to the nearest shelter.